Hi everybody, this is Mary for Stamping Camp with Mary. Mary Stamping Happenings and today is Tips and Techniques Tuesday. And today I want to show you how to do the napkin card or at least the technique how to do with the napkin card. I saw this napkin. Um, a friend invited us over for a barbecue and this napkin was her napkin of choice. There. And I just loved it. I loved the colors. I thought, oh, bright, a uh, lemon lime twist, mango melody, um, you know, daffodil delight, um, just, just screamed out at me. So I asked her if I could have a few of the napkins because I wanted to do the napkin technique. So this is the, um, finished. This is a note card. I'm going to do a couple of note cards and then I'm going to do full size cards for her. But I thought she'd enjoy something so we could um, keep the fun and um, party alive with the little card. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a napkin and a napkin usually has two to three um, layers to it. And you're going to pull them off. This one has three layers and so you're going to pull them off. You can pull them off if you do one of these I did one at a time and one I did that it actually came off the two layers the two white layers the bottom layers came off on their own um, all at once. So but all you have to do is just carefully find the edge that's probably the hardest and then just peel it, peel the top one off very carefully because sometimes it will hook and it will start tearing. But just carefully peel them apart till you get the one right like that. And then it all depends upon what you want to use. I am going to use our adhesive sheets, but you can use, um, liquid glue, you can use Mod Podge, whatever. You're going to need something you're going to want to put it on. Um, I am going to use this piece of Mango Melody and I just cut, um, it's three and a half because the note cards are three and a half by five. I cut this three and a half and it's five and a, a half um, just because I just cut it like that. It, I just cut a eight and a half by five and a half and you've got this so you can use um, this as um, tags. Um, you want to take your, I'm again I'm using the adhesive sheet and I cut the adhesive sheets a little longer. I cut that three and a half and it's by, it's about three and a half by six inches. So you could do a six by six if you wanted to. But I am just going to put this on and I'm using Mango Melody because um, this one has a Daffodil Delight. Where's my other one? This has the Lemon Lime Twist. So it looks a little bit different underneath. I wanted to see what it looked like with colors. And I thought, well, maybe I could leave the edge out. I forgot that with this I have ink or I have glue on the edges so I had to put something else on the edges so the glue it wouldn't, everything wouldn't stick to it. Then I'm just going to cut off the little bit here and you can use this for something else if you want. And then I'm just going to take that off, lay that on. Then I'm going to get my piece. This again, I am going to cut this in half. It it's about a six and a, yeah, it's about a six by six piece of just a little over six by six and a quarter um, piece of um, napkin. So I am just going to, and I have tried. See this here? I tried to cut it with our trimmer. Uh, it is so light weight that the trimmer just rips it. So I folded this in half and I am just going to try to cut it. And again, my, 
my arm, my wrist isn't the best. So I'm just going to try to cut this as close to the center as possible without leaving too much ragged ends. You could probably use um, a cutting mat and um, a razor. Sorry, can't do two things at once, can't cut and talk. Okay, so I am just going to then take that off. I'm going to put this just like that on there. Where's mine? Yes, and I made those holders and I said I was going to use those holders and put my bone folders in there. I have two bone folders out and guess where they are not in the holders. I know they're around here somewhere else because I just used them. Oh well. Works better with bone folders folks, sorry. I'm looking. I know the bone folder is around here someplace. I just used it. Okay. So yeah, Mary did not use the bone folder. When you use the bone folder, it actually comes off a lot easier and doesn't stick. Okay, hopefully that will be enough to get this. Okay. So now I am just going to put let's get this away. I'm going to open this up and lay it on that adhesive sheet. I'm going to try to center it because I know it'll work better centered. Oh, not centered. Mary, not centered. So you can either cut it down. Let's try cut down just a little. So, and I want it, let's go with four and three quarters, cut off. why you don't want to leave that sticky stuff on. And this is three. Now I'm going to have sticky stuff all over my cutter. Let's just go a little bit there. Okay. Then I'm going to grab and that's going to fit right center that. I'm going to use some of these stamp and seal plus because I really want it to hold on. Now if I wanted I could take some of the linen 
braided linen trim and trim it off like this. Or I can leave it like this. I am going to uh, put um, a label on it. But that's how you use it. You can make a full sheet. Take a good, you know, a regular, uh, that's not it, take a regular eight and a half. And you can put that all on there, drape that, and then cut it to whatever size you would like. This is going to be my full one because I like, I like the whole pattern here. <laughs> Anyhow, please follow me on YouTube. Please uh, help a small business out by ordering from me. All the information is down below. Thanks for visiting and happy stamping. Bye-bye.